Here at the Koanga Institute, we hold in trust a globally significant collection of over 50 heritage grains. Each one a testament to the rich agricultural traditions that have sustained communities for millennia. This collection includes seeds from all four corners of the globe, each with its own unique history and cultural significance. These grains were once at the heart of local food systems, feeding families and communities while supporting traditional regenerative farming practices. Koanga holds over 50 heritage grains, many of which are ancient. They come from all around the world, actually, just as our ancestors have. You know, from the Americas, some of the original corns, amaranths, quinoa, Africa, the sorghums and the millets. There's a huge range of them and basically they were the staple foods that our ancestors co-evolved on and they're part of the circle of life that, it, that our ancestors were intimately connected with for thousands of years. With all the quantum science that's coming out, we're coming to understand that our internal world is in constant communication with our external world. So if that's the case, then having a monoculture society, a few vegetables, a few grains, there's not much integration or connection with a broad range of information and, and nourishment. And the modern industrial grains, they weren't bred in a living system and they don't easily connect with the microbes in the soil and they're not adapted to people or place, which is a problem for human health. They're not really functional food. They're not, they're not grains that are gonna reconnect us to our environment, reconnect us to our, a healthy food system, rebuild our health and our ecosystems. And so we need these ancient grains and they need us right now to keep them alive so that they are available to people. Yeah, so we need, they need to be grown out again in a way that a lot more people have access to them. Build them back into their lives, back into their stories, back as part of their reconnection to their own environments. Every seed will only stay strong and vital in storage for so long. So we're growing our grains out every three to five years, taking the seeds out of storage, planting them, protecting them from the birds, growing them to mature seed, harvesting them, threshing them, cleaning them and storing them. It's the whole like cycle of what you have to do to keep the seeds alive. You can't just put it in a freezer and leave it there forever. So that's what a, a grow out is, is basically taking it from storage back to storage to keep the seed line alive. If culture comes from the land and the food, we have an incredible opportunity with these heritage food plants to connect back to some of our ancestral food culture, our ancestral mythology around food culture and cooking, harvesting, preparing and eating these incredibly nourishing foods. And it starts with planting them. When all of these seeds, including all these heritage grains started coming in, I just had a really strong feeling that they were going to be very important for our future. and We've done our absolute best to keep them all alive through the last 30 to 40 years. So like a lot of other people, I believe that our future lies with local sovereign food systems. And the seeds that fit those systems, the seeds that actually co-evolved in those systems are our ancient heritage food plants. So it's critical that we're able to grow these grains out so that they're available to you and so that they're available for future generations.